Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that is near and dear to me. Fox Kids. Most of us are pretty familiar with Fox Kids because we grew up with it. It was the one thing that introduced us to so many great shows back in the 90s. Growing up, this was my go-to channel. This was the channel I watched every day of every week because it had all those great shows. This channel had just about everything that a kid could want. It had great action shows like Beetleborgs, Mystic Knights of Tirnanug, Spider-Man, Masked Rider, VR Troopers, and of course, the greatest show ever made, Power Rangers. It also had great comedies like Extravaganza, Life with Louie, Sam and Max Freelance Police, and Spy Dogs, if you can call that a comedy. And this was the channel that brought to life Goosebumps. And so many more shows that I can't even label them all. It had so many great shows that you could just go nuts watching all this. It was a great lineup that I'll never forget. Seems like it was only yesterday that I was watching it. I'll tell you, just thinking about it right now is bringing back all the memories. Because every time I came home from school, I would always turn on the TV and watch Fox Kids. During the weekdays, that's when you had your old shows, and during Saturdays, that's when you had your new ones. And one of the coolest things is, you also had the Fox Kids Club, where you ended up getting all kinds of magazines. Reading these magazines was like reading Nintendo Power. You had all the great stuff talking about the shows, you had movie posters, toy advertisements, all kinds of awesome stuff. As you can see, I still have my old magazines. Sadly, it's gone now. It had a great run from 1990 to 2002. So why is it over? Well, it all comes down to one big factor that times change. Because when Fox Kids was out there, it was literally the only thing that we had out there. Oh sure, ABC and CBS had some of its good stuff early in the morning. You know, it's uh, good kids shows. And of course, PBS has always had its stuff. But Fox Kids always had the good action and or comedy shows and didn't focus too much on uh, learning stuff, which was always a refreshing thing for all us kids, you know. But then a little channel called the WB showed up and it started getting all kinds of shows like Pokemon and all that stuff. And people started to gravitate towards that. And eventually, Fox Kids just lost its luster. It even joined with the WB for a little while during its final years. At least that's what I thought back then. However, quite recently I learned that there was another reason why Fox Kids pretty much went off the air. When I went to a local Comic Con and met Teresa Cassidy, who was the host of my local Fox Kids network, she actually said that the main reason that Fox Kids pretty much went down the tube was because of Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. And now I think about it, it makes perfect sense. Because Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, they were around for a little while back in the mid and late 90s. However, it was the early 2000s. That's when things changed around because by that time, cable and satellite became way more affordable. So a lot more people were able to tune in. And when that happened, people were sadly shifting right over to Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. So now it's gone. And nothing will ever bring it back. However... I'm not too upset about it. I had a great time with it, and I still got the memories. The only thing that makes me sad is all the kids these days will never see this. Sure, they got their own channels, but there's really no comparison. Who knows? Maybe one day someone will bring it back. This is Movie Fan, signing off.